In this video, we're going to be looking at the Place Note tool. This Place Note tool can be opened up from the main tool frame on the text toolbox. It's number two on the list. Or you can open it using the keyboard shortcut A2. This will open up the Place Note tool settings window. I'm going to be using the text editor word processor. On the tool settings window, you can see there's two options, Place Note and also Place Callout. We'll be looking at Place Note. This is a hybrid element. It's part text, part dimension. So you can see text style and dimension style listed there. Most of what controls it is the dimension styles as you're going to see. We'll be looking at text rotation, text frame, seven foot, typical 50 foot scale drawing. We'll be also expanding the tool settings window here to get a look at some of the extended settings here. So first I'm going to start off by just placing some text in here for an anchor. On the tool settings window, I'm going to be looking at, first of all, text rotation. Right now I have it set to horizontal. So when I go and place the text in, you can see I place it, you can see the text shows up. Now right now, I don't have inline leader checked or association. So on the fly, I can change these things. On the expanded section, I'm going to go to inline leader. You can see there's the inline leader. Now I didn't have association checked, so that has to be done before you place the note. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to come back, place the text in. This time I'm going to place check in the association box. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this in, do a data, snapping to that point using AccuSnap, and then placing my text in. You can see the arrowhead that gets placed in is the AHT arrowhead, so it is compliant to the Caltrans standards. This is a much faster way of placing in text than drawing in lines individually and placing in the arrowhead using the active line terminator. So I'm going to go ahead and undo what I did. And then we'll explore some of these other options here. First of all, text rotation. Right now I have it set to horizontal. As you saw, the text came in horizontal. I'm going to change this to vertical and we'll see what the text looks like when I place it in. You can see it places in vertically. I'll zoom out a little bit and you can see as I move my cursor up above the axis, it'll flip to the other side. And I can do this dynamically. I can also change it to inline, which allows me to place it just in line with the leader line like that. I'm going to change it back to horizontal. Text frame. Right now it's set to none. Typical one might, one might use this box. As I place it over here, you can see it puts a box around the text. I can also use capsule. It puts a capsule around it. And the other one, which is circle, very popular. Generally, you wouldn't have a long sentence like, you know, anchor in there. Um, you just have two characters. We'll explore that a little bit later. So I'll go ahead and place this in. Now, because I used association, you're going to see that if I do decide to move this object here, I'll go ahead and go to my move element tool. I'm going to go ahead and move this down. Let's say just down to here. You'll see that the arrowhead goes with it. Also, if I move the note, move this note down like this, you'll see that because it's a hybrid dimension and text it becomes a note, it will be intelligent. It'll go with it. And then if I move this object back up here and placing it up like that, you can see the leader line and the arrowhead all go with it. That can be a great time saver. We'll go back to our place note tool. Now we're going to explore the option of uh, circle. So if I choose circle and I place in something like a number 23 and I place this in, you can see a circle appears around it. Now, the circle size is dependent upon how many characters I had. So if I added in another character, you can see the circle becomes larger. There is a way to lock this, and this will be explored in another video later during the dimension style section. So if I place that in, again, it's intelligent. It will go along with the object that it's pointing to. And that association even works if it goes across a reference file. Do an undo, come back. We'll set this back to none. 
and have it set to horizontal. Next, we're going to look at the location option. Now, location, there's two options, automatic or manual. And automatic is probably the most commonly used one in conjunction with line. Line has two options, line or curve. So having it set to automatic and line is, produces a note like what you saw. If I change this, though, to manual, and then I change the leader type to curve, what this allows me to do is place in a curved leader line. And in this case, because I have it set to manual, when I do a data, I can place in additional curves like this. And when I'm done and I want to place my text, I either move my text to the left or to the right, whatever way I want the text to go, and then I press reset the right mouse button. And then I place the text in. And again, the text is intelligent. It's associated to the object and it's associated uh, the leader line to the text. So if they move, everything goes with it. So that's looking at location for manual and curve. We'll set this back to automatic. We'll set this back to line. We'll do an undo. And then we'll take a look at start at terminator versus text. So if I wanted to start the first data point or the left click is the arrowhead, that's going to be start at terminator placed in. If I want to do it the opposite, I can say I want to place the text first. Then I place the text. And then I can point to the object second. And then I can continue to place text. So we'll go ahead and undo that. And we'll change this back to Terminator. Now, the option for horizontal attachment, there's three choices. Auto, which is what we had it set to, left or right. So right now, I'm going to use Auto, and I'm going to demonstrate what this does. I'm going to place in our sample text. And I'll place my leader line here, Terminator first. As I move my cursor down, you can see the leader line is showing up. The inline leader is to the left of the text. If I move my cursor to the other side, you're going to see that it flips like that. So that's what the horizontal attachment is. And that's automatic, flipping automatically. Now, if I change this to left, then as I move my cursor to the left, you'll see the leader line or inline leader stays to the left hand side. And then again, the other option is right. So that wraps up just the basics for the tool settings window for the place note tool. Stand by for more videos. Thank you.